Hey guys, I have here this Wise Cam, and in this case this is the version 3, and I got this as a certified refurbished camera. So this is a return which was then certified to still be working correctly. But uh, we plug this in, and normally it should turn on. Uh, at least there should this red LED in the front turn on, and you should be able to connect it. And in this case, nothing happens. There's just like a small, really uh, quiet ticking sound after a few seconds. And that's about it. So uh, it really does not work uh, pretty much at all. Even if you press here the uh, little button that is inside here. So uh, we're going to open this up and take a look at what's going on. If we can uh, fix this camera here. Okay, so of course we start out by uh, first unplugging it and make sure there's no power going to the camera at this point and then we need a small prying tool i'm just going to use here the tip of my uh of this nail file and we're prying off this white frame that goes around the front of the camera so this uh, little frame here is just glued into position so it's going to pry in there a little bit just a little bit underneath and then we can kind of go all the way around and then eventually lift this off now underneath there you're going to see three little white dots uh, one of those dots actually came off already in my case and now i'm using some tweezers to peel out these dots so these are like some uh, seals to make sure there's no water going in where the screws are attached so now we're going to use a small phillips screwdriver it has to be quite long in order to reach all the way down and we're going to remove three small phillips screws and once we've done that, then we're going to use our prying tool again. And here we have to make sure that we don't that we don't damage here this little red seal uh, that makes sure there's no water going into the camera. And then we have to carefully uh, pull all the electronics out. And the uh, we have to be really careful because the uh, cables in there, the wires are not very long. So uh, at this point, we already have to disconnect these uh, cables here so there's two connectors actually i accidentally tore off the uh, power the connector for the power supply so you see this here these uh, four little pads that's where the uh, power connector was attached to and i tore it off so i had to solder that back on and now we find here uh, four small phillips screws on the uh, first pcb so we're going to remove all of those let's uh, speed that up a little bit and then we can now detach these, this first PCB. Again, we have to be really careful because there's a couple of connectors. So we can unplug these here. The, uh, those are two with the black and the red wires. Make sure you remember which uh, connector goes where. And now, once we've done that, now I think I've already found the problem. So you see here this ribbon cable that's uh, attached to the uh, second PCB and it's just floating around in here. It's not connected to anything. So this this uh, small ribbon cable, this should be attached to something. And of course it should also be attached here to the first PCB that we just removed. You see here the big connector. So it was simply not plugged in. So uh, I don't know how uh, wise refurbished or certified refurbished this camera here when it was never plugged in so technically could have never worked uh, so uh, let's see if we can just plug in this ribbon cable <coughs> let's reconnect it we're just going to slide this in and uh, you see this ribbon connector this has uh, this little plastic tab that you have to first pull out then you can push the ribbon in and then you basically push down the lever again to secure the ribbon cable and then we're going to reconnect those two uh, connectors those two those couple of wires that we disconnected earlier and then of course we can uh, put all the screws back in and then once we have done that now let's see if we can get the uh, camera activated again let's see if it works now so i'm going to plug the uh, Two connectors back in that were coming out of the uh, housing so first the small one with the uh, black and the white wires and then i'm 
carefully reattaching the power cable. So making sure that I'm not accidentally tearing off the uh, connector again. Okay, and now we're already here at the moment of truth. So uh, let's plug it back in. And then you already saw here. Okay, you see here the LEDs. The red LED is lighting up. And we also briefly saw the uh, infrared LEDs blink. So that was already it. That was the only fault. The only thing that was wrong with this camera. We just had to plug the ribbon cable back in. Yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any more questions or comments, then please leave a message below.